Hey, ¿qué tal amigazos? Bienvenidos una vez más. Los saluda su compa el Michoacano BMX. Y aquí estamos con Marquez. PSD student. We're about to do some more pre-trip inspection. We're gonna start with the engine compartment. Engine compartment? Yep. How about a full, uh, full uh, pre-trip Marquez? Coupling everything. What do you think? Let's do it, man. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's do it. Of the pre-trip inspection. We start with my engine compartment, and before I do that, I'm gonna begin with checking under the trunk for leaks. There are no leaking. So now I'm gonna move to my passenger side. All my general hoses probably mounted secure on both ends. No abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and they're not leaking. My belt-driven alternator is probably mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken and all my wires are connected. My belt is not cracked or frayed, and the free play is between half and three quarters of an inch. Move it to my driver's side. All my general hoses, probably mounted secure on both ends, no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and they're not leaking. Back here behind the frame is my gear-driven power steering pump. It's probably mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken, and it's not leaking. Also behind the frame is my gear-driven air compressor. It's probably mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken, and it's not leaking. Here is my engine oil level. It's filled to manufacturer specifications. Here is my coolant reservoir. It's probably mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken. It's not leaking, and it's filled to manufacturer specifications. Here is my belt-driven water pump. It's probably mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken. It's not leaking. And my belt is, is uh, not cracked or frayed, and the free play is between half and three quarters of an inch. Here is my power steering fluid reservoir. It's probably mounted secure, not cracked, green, or broken. It's not leaking, and it's filled to manufacturer specifications. Here is my power steering gearbox and hoses. Probably mounted secure on both ends, not cracked, green, or broken. No abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and they're not leaking. Here, is my steering linkage. It's probably mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken. There's no missing castle nuts or cotter pins. All three cotter pins have to be uh, pointed out. Here's the third one. Moving on, my spring hanger, probably mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken. No missing, uh, no missing mounting bolts, and it's probably mounted secure on both ends. My leaf spring, probably mounted secure on both ends not cracked, bent, or broken, and then they're shifted. My U-bolts, probably mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken, and then they're missing. My shock absorber is probably mounted secure on both ends, not cracked, bent, or broken, and it's not leaking. Here, my brake chamber is probably mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken, and it's not leaking air. My brake hose, probably mounted secure, not, uh, no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and it's not leaking air. My slack adjuster and push rod is probably mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken. And with the brakes released and pulled by hand, the push rod should not move more than an inch. Here, my brake drum is probably mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken. Within the brake drum, my brake lining is probably mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken, free from oil and debris, and the friction material is not worn dangerously thin. Here, my tire is probably mounted secure on the tread and sidewalls. No abrasions, bulges, or cuts. The tread is no less than 4 30 seconds of an inch and it's filled to manufacture specifications for check with an air gauge. My rim is probably mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken, and there are no unauthorized wells or holes. My lug nuts probably mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken, none are missing. There's no powder residue or rust trails and no cracks around the bolt holes. My axle seal is probably mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken. It's not leaking. It's filled to manufacturer specifications and there are no missing mounting bolts. And that wraps up the engine compartment pre-trip inspection. Now, after the engine compartment, I'm gonna be doing my driver door fuel area uh, pre-trip inspection. So I'm gonna start with my mirror. It's probably mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken. It's clean and free from any obstructions. My door and hinges 
probably minimally secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. It opens, closes, and latches properly. And my seals on the inside and out, probably minimally secured, not worn or torn, and no signs of dry rot. My fuel tank, probably minimally secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. It's not leaking from the tank or the fuel cap, and the fuel cap is on tight. Moving on to my catwalk and steps. Probably mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken. And they're free and clear for any, uh, any loose objects. Back here, I have my exhaust system. Probably mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken. And there are no signs of any leaks. My frame and cross members, probably mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken. No unauthorized welds or holes and there are no missing cross members. My drive shaft is probably mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken. It's not twisted. The U-joints are free from any debris. My torque arm is probably mounted secure on both ends, not cracked, bent, or broken. Moving on. My spring hangers, probably mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken. No missing mounting bolts. And it's secured on both ends. My spring arm, probably mounted secure on both ends, not cracked, bent, or broken. My U bolts, probably mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken, and none are missing. My shock absorber, is probably mounted secure on both ends, not cracked, bent, or broken, and it's not leaking. My airbag, is probably mounted secure on both ends, not cracked, bent, or broken, no abrasions, bulges, or cuts and it's not leaking air, and there are no missing mounting bolts. My brake chamber is probably mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken, and it's not leaking air. My brake hose is probably mounted secure on both ends, no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and it's not leaking air. My slack adjuster and push rod is probably mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken, and with the brakes released and pulled by hand, the push rod should not move more than an inch. I guess, can you tell us where is the slack adjuster? This is my slack adjuster and push rod. The push rod is under. There's a rod that goes that goes under this uh this piece right here. Okay. My brake drum is probably mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken. Within the brake drum is my brake lining. It's probably mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken, free from oil and debris, and the friction material is not worn dangerously thin. My tire, probably mounted secure on the tread and sidewalls, no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and the tread is no less than 2 30 seconds of an inch. And also, it's filled to manufacturer specifications when checked with an air gauge. My rim is probably mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken. It's free from any unauthorized welds or holes. My lug nuts are probably mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken. None are missing, no powder residue or rust trails and no cracks around the bolt holes. My axle seal is probably mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken. It's not leaking. It's filled to manufacturer specifications, and there are no missing mounting bolts. Back here, my mud flap is probably mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken. And that wraps up the driver door fuel area. After driver door fuel area, we're gonna move on to the coupling part of the pre-trip inspection. So I'm gonna start with my electric lines. It's probably mounted secure on both ends. No abrasions, bulges, or cuts. And there are no exposed wires. My air lines, probably mounted secure on both ends. No abrasions, bulges, or cuts. And they're not leaking. My glad hands, probably mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken. The seals are in good condition. And the seals are not cracked or showing any signs of dry rot. And they're not leaking air. My air line is probably mounted secure on both ends. No abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and it's not leaking air. Under here, my apron is probably mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken. My skid plate is probably mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken, and it's properly lubricated. The gap from the apron and skid plate, there is no visible gap between them. My release arm and safety latch Probably mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken, 
and it's in the fully locked position. My sliding fifth wheel and locking pins, probably mounted secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, and it's in the fully locked position. My platform is probably mounted secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. My mounting bolts, probably mounted secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, and none are missing. Under here, I have my kingpin, it's probably mounted secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. Also under here, I have my locking jaws, probably mounted secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, and they're fully locked around the kingpin. Now, my clearance from the landing gear and mud flap, there's enough spacing so that when making a turn, they'll not hit each other. And that wraps up the coupling part of the pre-trip inspection. Now, for this part of the pre-trip inspection, I'm gonna be doing my trailer. And keep in mind, this is a flatbed trailer, so it's different from reefer or any other uh, trailers. So first, I'm gonna start my rub rail, probably mounted secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, all the way down the trailer. My straps and winches, probably mounted secured. These are my winches, probably mounted secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, and none are missing. My frame and cross members, Probably mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken, and there are no missing cross members. My landing gear is probably mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken. It's in the fully raised position, and my crank handle is secured. Moving on. Behind my skirts, I have my spring hanger, probably mounted secure on both ends, not cracked, bent, or broken. No missing mounting bolts. Behind the tire from the spring hanger on back is my spring arm. It's probably mounted secure on both ends. Not cracked, bent, or broken. And no missing mounting bolts. Moving on to where we can see everything. Under here, I have my brake chamber. It's probably mounted secure. Not cracked, bent, or broken. And it's not leaking air. From the brake chamber, I have my brake hoses, probably mounted secured on both ends, no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and they're not leaking air. Can you tell us where is brake chamber, Marcus? My brake chamber is right here. Okay. My shock absorber is probably mounted secure on both ends, not cracked, bent, or broken, and it's not leaking. My airbag is probably mounted secure on both ends, not cracked, bent, or broken, no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, it's not leaking air, and there are no missing mounting bolts. Again, my slack duster and push rod, probably mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken. And with the brakes released and pushed by hand, and pulled by hand, the push rod should not move more than an inch. Here, my brake drum, it's probably mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken. My brake lining, it's probably mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken. Free from oil and debris, and the friction material is not worn dangerously thin. Moving on to my tires. I have dual tires on this trailer. So I have a check. There's proper spacing between the tires and there's nothing stuck in that spacing. Now, my tires probably mounted secure on, uh, on the tread and sidewalls. No abrasions, bulges, or cuts. And the tread is no less than 2 30 seconds of an inch. And also, it's filled to manufacturer specifications We'll check with an air gauge. My rim, probably mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken. No unauthorized welds or holes. My lug nuts, probably mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken. None are missing. No powder residue or rust trails, and no cracks around the bolt holes. My axle seal, is probably mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken. It's not leaking. It's filled to manufacturer specifications, and there are no missing mounting bolts. And last, my mud flap probably mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken. And that wraps up my trailer part of the uh, pre-trip inspection. All right, now, for this part of the pre-trip inspection, I'm gonna be doing my light check. So I'm gonna make sure I'm in the front of the truck. I'm gonna let the examiner know that I'm gonna check all my lights, reflectors, and reflective tape the same way. Probably mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken, clean and illuminated in the proper colors of amber to the front and sides and red to the rear. So now, I'm gonna check my headlights, marker lights, clearance lights, reflectors, and reflective tape. 
here. It's my uh, headlight, my marker light, my clearance lights. What, what is your clearance lights? These are my clearance lights. Okay. Marker light. Marker light. My reflective tape all the way down the rubber rail of the trailer. My reflective tape. My marker light reflective. Marker light. ABS light. Marker light. Marker light. Reflector. Reflective tape. Reflective tape. Marker lights. Reflector. Marker lights. On this side, I have my reflective tape all the way down the rubber rail of the trailer. My marker light. Marker light. Reflective tape. Marker light. Reflector. Marker light. Marker light, marker light, and headlight. Now, I'm gonna ask my examiner to help me check my five by fives in my five different locations. That's gonna be my left turn signal, right turn signal, my four way flashers, high beams, and brake lights in the front of the truck, both sides of the truck, rear of the truck, both sides of the trailer, and the rear of the trailer. So now I'm gonna go check. So en esta ocasión el examinador uh, te va a dar pulgar arriba hasta entonces no apagues la luz. So left turn signal, right turn signal, four way flashers, and high beams. Ahora nos vamos a mover. Para mirar. Atrás del camión. Left turn signal. Right turn signal. Four way flashers. And brakes. Ahora nos vamos a mover. Detrás de la trailer. Left turn signal, right turn signal, four way flashers, and brakes. Y así termina la inspección de las luces. Solo para tener en mente, estamos haciendo inspección en un camión Freightliner Casqueria 2019. Creo que Marqués. Ya está bien listo. Ahí pues estamos. Hasta la próxima, amigazos. Ojalá les haya gustado. No se les olvide a dejarme un me gusta. Cualquier comentario nos ayuda a seguir creciendo, amigazos. No se les olvide por ahí también seguirnos en Instagram. Como el Michoacano MX. Pues ahí estamos. Hasta la próxima, amigazos.